but uh, we're just on the plane. I think to leave it. It was fun playing tonight. Well, it was the cast, uh, it's a cheese biscuit to mine also. <laughs> it's very hot.
immeasurable optimism and arrogance. We were convinced that we were much better than any of those other groups, and we're still convinced that it's terrible that it's, that it's been proven true. <laughs> we got together, and we still remain together, first and foremost, because we like playing music. We like the music we play. It, it is an accident, I swear this, that it is uh, also pleasing to a vast number of people. Uh, it's a continuing source of amusement and pleasure to me that this happens. But I write songs to please myself, and the band plays to please itself. Um, if there were no one out there, you know, we'd still be playing. We'd still be playing in someone's front room. Uh, the fact that you know, 50, 60, 100,000 people want to be there is uh, Wonderful, but it's, I don't know why. <laughs> if I knew why, or even analyzed why, I think uh, that might be a dangerous formula to tamper with, you know? Let sleeping dogs lie, or successful dogs, let them lie. I, I personally, you know, I've always really loved small groups. I don't know why, I mean, I've never been, because uh, I, I tend to like very, 
um, spare, clean, you know, situations with a lot of clarity. I always thought clarity was a very earthy quality and it moves people. And I think in the case of the police, the, the simplicity and the openness to the three-piece sound is an exciting quality. Uh, when I go and see groups and they're trying to get five or six pieces working together in the PA and it tends to be cluttered and there's too much middle and it's, uh, I think it confuses people. And with us, you know, you've got the bass, and the drums and the guitar in the middle holding the harmonic area and I think it, be, it, it there's a lot of clarity and it, it excites people but I don't they, maybe they don't know why but I think it's the clarity anyway um, it just means I think in a three-piece group you have to really dig your heels in and uh, go back in and really dig deep to find what you can put in. and it's amazing what you can just keep finding all the time within three pieces it means you have to really um, you know, go deeper into your instrument and not like thinking, oh, well, the keyboard can play that part, which would always frustrate me. I like the challenge of, you know, having to only, you know, having the three of us. I think one of the main reasons is that we were um, older than your average group. Uh, I was 26 when the band started to move around in, in the world. Um, Stuart was the same age, Andy was a little older. We all had experience, we, we'd all been married, I had a child, I was a mature adult, frankly. Most groups um, at that stage in their career, beginning, are 17, 18, 19. So in effect we had an objectivity and um, an adult view of things that was a great advantage. We weren't overwhelmed by um, feudal managers or a feudal record company who told us you must do this because we had our own views, and we stood up for our, we stood up for what we stood for. Um, because we were intelligent, and we thought we uh, we knew the right thing to do. Which you know, history has kind of proved us right. We we were doing the right thing by uh, doing it our own way. But it never occurred to us to listen to anyone else. <laughs>
song is called Wrapped Around Your Finger.
first foothold in North America was actually Canadian, and we were accepted first in Toronto, and then in Montreal, and then Winnipeg. Vancouver was another uh, strong area for us. They just seemed willing to accept an, a new form of music that the Americans didn't. So having this foothold right next to the, the heartland of America was very, very important. And we've continued to come here for the past five years, playing in larger and larger venues, playing with the same promoters because they helped us out in the first place. It's been... Uh, our Canadian adventure has been very successful, very fruitful for us.
song, oui.
We always headlined, never supported any groups. And that was a policy right from the start, um, right from the very early days when we really could have used um, some bigger concerts by supporting, but we, re we preferred to play to a much smaller audience and get all the uh, action. And we really stuck to that all the way through until that obviously it didn't become an issue anymore. But, you know, you've got to really have that belief in yourself and you've got to be willing to take chances and risks and that's so important and you've got to be able to abandon a lot of things and sort of stand on a rock in the middle of the sea, you know, away from everybody else and just sort of wait until it, you know, stick it out. What I've been given, uh, what the band's been given is a position in uh, society where we're entertainers but we're also, we also seem to be uh, educators in a certain way. Um, and we must never lose that responsibility. People seem to listen to what we say and watch what we do. Therefore, our behavior needs somehow to be uh, not changed by that responsibility, but certainly we need to be aware of it. Um, I feel very strongly that the band should always be aware of that, that we're the centre of something quite important and not just a shallow entertainment. This song is called Every Breath You Take. How oh, many these days?
chanter avec moi. Oui. called King of Pain, or in English, King of Wreck.
the big buzz on the phones is, uh, when are you going to play your next Believes track so we can pick up a pair of tickets? I got people down at the door. I got people calling me up, offering me their, uh, their sisters for the third time, things like that. Well, can't accept those things. You just got to wait. Yes, I did say the police on the way. And, of course, you know that when you hear a police track on the radio, all you have to do is dial 790-0711. And if you're the first person to get through that can tell me the correct name of the track and the album that it came from, you're going to be checking out the police live on Tuesday night in a special show and presentation at the Spectrum where we have the police playing live only for about six or 700 people max. So, hi, is it uh, Secret Journey? And Ghost in the Machine? Yeah, but there's only one problem. No, please don't tell me that. That You can't give me the tickets. I, I well, I'm all finished. Please? I've been trying. Oh, God, please. This would mean the world to me. Don't get upset. Please! I'm sorry, but I got my two winners already. You're going to have to try later oh, on. Oh, you make... Oh, golly. Oh. I'll come and wash your windows at your house for you. I'm sure, I'm sure. I would really like that, but... Legitimate now. I got through the line. I know you only have two tickets this time, but you got to make an exception this time. I'd love to, but I really can't. It, uh... I won't tell anybody. I know you won't tell anybody, but we'll know. We'll know. Trust me, it won't be that hard. Just think how, how good you'd feel making me feel happy, and you've made my life for me. Being able to see Sting in life on stage there next to him. I know, but it's not fair to everyone else, and, uh... Yeah, that, so close to him, because the Spectrum's such a nice place. Keep trying, just really keep trying. You'll get through, don't worry. And if I don't get a ticket, can I personally come to you and say, well, since you didn't give it to me on Sunday night, will you give me a ticket then? You can find me. Keep trying, just really keep trying. 